you. You're trying to get people to stop going on mission trips to serve the one true God? Which God? The one true God, the God of the Bible. How do you know that that's the one true God? The Bible clearly says that he's the one true God and the Bible is correct and has never been proven wrong and never will be. Which version of the Bible do you read from? Why does it matter? NIV? Why does God allow so many different versions of the Bible and who's to say which one is from God? They're all God's word, just translated differently. Did you know there isn't one single non-contradictory narrative about Christ's resurrection? So God's word doesn't change. No, but like the resurrection, the most important event in the Bible. Doesn't it bother you that the gospels don't tell one consistent story about it? <laughs> what gospels are you reading? Oh, Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, uh, John 20 through 21, Acts 1, 3 through 12, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 8. I, 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 know, I know them all. <laughs> uh, I used to be such a Jesus freak. Sorry for the slur. Without omitting any details from the versions, what would the resurrection story sound like? Give me a sec. What I'm getting at is that I'm just baffled at Christians' confidence in the Bible that they've never studied to see its errors, but speak as if there are none, then we're still offer it up as the one true gospel to people in poverty who, I don't know, let's see, need less people wanting to play colonizer and more sustainable resources, not an 18 year old who hasn't taken the time to understand the ramifications of a religion that works for them in Tennessee, but will take the time to fly to Uganda completely uneducated on the cons of mission trips. Jesus is the only resource they need. Whatever cons that arise don't matter. We're bringing souls to Christ. What's your opinion on like sustainability and local economic impacts of mission trips? Not important, they just need the gospel. What's your opinion on like imperialism, informed consent, neocolonialism? Not cons at all, all worth it for Jesus. You don't know what any of that means. You don't care about the actual lives of the people you're bringing to your God. Is it because if they have to deal with the ramifications of short-term mission trips you'll never see long after you're back home in America? <laughs> uh, I'll pray for you. I'll make a TikTok for you.